we are in a very small FEMA uh, mobile home that he bought from FEMA. When FEMA's done with them, they sell them. Uh, it's a studio, obviously. He's a band producer. And you can see the guitars and the drums and everything. He completely remodeled it, all new sheetrock. Uh, you can see the internet connections over there. So this is gonna be like an office and the studio and everything. So we just got done installing the three zone Cooper and Hunter mini split system. Now I did not purchase the mini split, the customer did. And uh, here's, okay, so that's a 12,000 BTU. This is a little 9,000 BTU for the studio or for the recording room, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, there's one of the old registers from the central system that they had in here. It was like one of the wall packs they had in here. And uh, I don't think he really needed one in here, but he bought it, so we just installed it. Uh, this is a 9,000 BTU. It's the smallest they make. Again, that's the 12. And then there's another room back here where we installed another 12,000. And we have a two and a half ton three zone condenser outside that we'll show you. So normally I, uh, when he called me, uh, I told him, I said, man, I normally don't install equipment that customers buy. And he said, yeah, you're like the fifth company that I've called that's told me that. I said, but I am a small shop. It is the slow season. I said, I could use the work, but I can't promise you that you're gonna like my price. So he said, well, why don't, he said, look, he said, I was gonna do it myself. And you can see all the boxes from Cooper and Hunter. He said, I was gonna do it myself, but I started unboxing stuff and realized I was in over my head. That's what he told me. I said, okay. I said, I'll come take a look and I'll give you a price. I said, but I can't promise you that you're gonna like the price. He said, well, I'm kind of at your mercy. I said, okay. So we came out, he showed me everything. The heads came with the line sets, the drain tubing. We'll walk outside, he built a nice porch on it. He had a nice big porch on it. And I'll show y'all how little this place is. Again, it's just a little FEMA trailer. So, you know, it's there from there to there, just a little small trailer. I'm actually gonna probably purchase one of these in the next year or two and convert it into an office. And uh, that way I'll have an office space. And I'll, but I'll put Mitsubishi's in mine because I'm a Mitsubishi guy. So over here we have the condensing unit sitting on the wall bracket. One coming here, down and over. And then that's the one in the recording room coming straight down. And then this is the one coming out of that back room, comes over. 90s down. My line sets are kind of jumbled up, but you know when you, and it's right next to the disconnect. They put the disconnect, I did not. They installed it theirself. They installed this, the, the bracket theirself. We put the unit on it and bolted it down. It came with all the little bolts with the rubber on it and everything. But we made it look as clean as we could. All the communication wires in sealed tight, you can see. I tried to dress this up as much as I could but he likes it, he's happy with it. So if he's happy with it, I'm happy with it. It's running really well. It's cooled the space down very quickly. I'm waiting on my drains. See, it even came with the drain tubing. I did offer to install PVC, but he's like, no, just use the stuff that came with it. Uh, I'm kind of waiting around. I want to see these drains start dripping water. But it's a, uh, Cooper and Hunter is one I've never dealt with before because I'm a Mitsubishi guy. Um, when I do a mini split, I'm doing a Mitsubishi. And if you don't like my Mitsubishi price, you're, you're free to call somebody else. I've, I just, uh, in my opinion, when it comes to mini splits, I know there's always a debate about brands on heating and air, but forced air systems, they're all pretty much the same to a certain point. Again, like I've said in the past, there are brands I'd stay away from with, that have micro channels on them. But when it comes to mini splits, they're not all created equally. Not in my opinion anyway. Nobody touches Mitsubishi. But the Cooper and Hunter, I have seen them on the internet. It's not a bad unit. I mean, it was fairly easy to install. It was pretty service friendly. 
definitely not the quality of a Mitsubishi, but uh, still a good unit. I mean, uh, I, I like it better than, than like I've done an LG before and I hated it. So I, I would take this over an LG. I would also take this over a Fujitsu. Uh, but the only other mini split that I would even consider installing besides Mitsubishi, if I sell it, if I sell the equipment is uh, Daikin. To me, Daikin's a really good mini split as well. So Daikin or Mitsubishi, I'm not, and I'm not going any further. Mitsubishi's always gonna be my top choice. So uh, you got the whip coming in right there. So you got four connections, the whip down here on the bottom and then the, the other three are the communication wires for each head. But it's cooling really well, um, even though I do like, oh, and I've installed a Gree before. Gree wasn't bad. Gree makes like Root and Reams mini splits. They're Gree made. Train used to be until they partnered up with Mitsubishi. And uh, I think Linux is Gree made, made by Gree. Um, but I won't install Cooper and Hunter because they sell to the public. I mean, this guy got on the internet. And uh, so this is a two and a half ton condenser. Remember, we got a 12,000, a 9,000, and another 12. So not quite two and a half tons worth of heads, but uh, it's an inverter. So no big deal. Um, but I, uh, I won't, I, I would never sell Cooper and Hunter. I don't even think we have supply houses here that stock this equipment because they do sell to the public. I mean, this guy bought everything. It came with the line sets, the drain tubing, the communication wire. It did not come with the covers. That we had to provide, and that was part of the price. When I gave him my price, uh, he didn't like it. He didn't like it at all. And uh, I said, well, you know, that's the price. And I made it very clear that I will not warranty the machine. You know, the machine is his. Now, I will warranty my work. So if the flares would leak, or you know the wire like a wire would come loose that i did i'll warranty that but as far as if if, if one of them if the if the machine itself malfunctions i'm not going to warranty it and he understood that and he signed my he signed off on it but uh i mean it came with everything drain tubes line sets uh communication wire i mean everything you could think of except the line hide we provided that that was part of the price and uh I'll never use this line hide again. I bought it at Goodman. It comes in kits and I do not like it. It's very cheaply made, but I was already too far into it. So, but I, you know, I mean, it looks okay, but it's not the best line hide in the world. But I thought the job came out pretty good and I just wanted to share it with y'all. I haven't done a video in a while. So let me the guys know what you think about Cooper and Hunter and what your preferred uh, choice of mini split is. Oh, one of my drains is pissing. That's what I wanted to see. That middle one in the in the studio is uh is pissing away already. These other two should start here before too long. All right, well that's looking good. But uh let me know what you guys think and what mini split you guys like. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.